excellent Rebels. This is a bonus video to show you a little something extra that I thought you would find useful. So in week three of the course, I showed you what if you wanted to add up the first few rows to see your spending in the 1st of August. So I'm going to double click this cell to show you what we did. We added up those first few cells, these ones here that you can see that are coloured in. And then I'm just going to press escape to come out of that. And then in week four of the course, I showed you that if you were to try and sort on this column, so I've gone to data and I press sort here, look what happens to this cell when I press sort. If I press sort, this changes and it says £11.70. And it's like, that's wrong because it's still looking uh, at those top cells that you can see here. So I'm going to press Control Z to reverse that because I didn't want that to happen. And I'm going to show you a way around this, this using the power of some if. Ooh. And this is a bit more of an advanced thing. So if you find this too much, don't worry. This is a bit beyond beginners. I just wanted to give you this as something that you might want to play with. So I'm going to still want to say, let's see what the spending is in 1st of August. And I'm going to show you a way that it means that it does that doesn't happen when we use the sort function. So I'm going to put the date here of 1st of August 23, press enter. And then here I'm going to put in what the spending was. So maybe we just label this spending here. And I'm going to say to do tell Excel that you want it to be a formula, that you want it to do a calculation. I'm going to press equals. And then I'm going to take, type sum if S U M I F, and then I do open brackets, and then it tells me what it's expecting. And this is still sort of an Excel language, so I'm going to tell you exactly what it means and exactly how it needs the information. So this first thing it says range. It needs to know where it's looking. So what we're doing is we're saying, look in this table and tell me the amounts on the 1st of August. So I want it to look in this column, in this date column, so I'm going to select here, scroll all the way down because I want it to look in the whole table. So you can see, if I click here, oh, it's done, it's hiding it. <laughs> Let me do that again for you. If I go like this, to select all those ones in that table, and it says A7 to A36, I'll switch to here because it's got in the way, and then I press Col comma and then it looking for the criteria it wants to know okay I'm going to look in those cells but what is it that I'm looking for and it's looking for first of August so I'm going to select this cell because it says first of August in it and that's why I put that in that cell in that format so I put that there so it says okay I'm going to look in cells <clears throat> excuse me a7 to a36 which is this column over here which you can see highlighted I'm going to look for that date and then what do you want me to do? So I'm going to press comma and then it says the sum range. What is it that you want me to add up? So I want it to tell me the amount in that time period, in that date. So I've select these cells now and then I press close brackets. So all this shows is it's saying add these numbers up if, sum if, the date over here is the 1st of August and sum up these cells to show me what the spending was on the 1st of August. If I press enter, you can see it says £117.80 and that's exactly what we're expecting because we saw that over here. So now I'm going to show you the power of this. If I then sort on this column and it was going to move all the cells around, look what happens to both this cell and this cell. This cell will change and this cell should hopefully, if we've done it correctly, stay the same. So let me press sort here. And you can see this one has changed and is now incorrect. And this one is correct. So there's a tip for you how to get around this thing of sorting, moving the cells around in your table and making sure that the answer that you get is still correct. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions.